Mount St. Helens is an active stratovolcano located in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. It last erupted in 1980 when the top 400 meters blew up and caused massive destruction in the region. On November 19, two paraglider pilots launched from the summit and only one reached the planned landing. This is their story. They started hiking around 8 a.m., surrounded by tall pine trees. The treetops showed no wind. The forecast was for light east, turning south at peak height, with some strong southeast around noon in the mid-level, calming down towards evening. During the hike up near the base of the mountain, they noticed significant easterly wind. They dismissed it, convinced that they could handle it in the air. They summited around 1 p.m. The wind had died down. It looked perfect. They launched soon after. The first few minutes of the flight were blissful, smooth, Instagram conditions with a long glide to the LZ. Val hit some turbulence that caused a few side collapses. Maxime's wing danced overhead. Without using speed bar, they were completely pinned against the wind. Using the accelerator, he crept towards the landing zone with a glide of one to one. After a few minutes, he passed through the layer of the strongest wind. Near the ground, it was reasonable, but his friend was lower trapped in a bad place. The turbulence got worse and there were no obvious landing options except for a snow-covered rock field in the lee of the trees. The Vario wailed as his wing was tossed around, four meters a second up followed by seven meters a second down. He kept control but the landing was hard. Luckily he only broke a couple of fingers and could hike out. Whew, that was close. That could be a serious place to crash, especially if you're on your own or your communications go down. On my website, I analyze this flight in detail, looking at strategies for survival and principles to apply to your own flying. Extended edition is double the length with 10 times the value when combined with the whole set of skills I present in my courses. Here's a summary of the key points for you. My tips for route choices. If there's strong wind, expect a dismal one-to-one -one glide angle into wind and well over 10 to one downwind. When you're gliding, identify emergency landing zones that offer you escape routes Having only one fixed landing zone makes you hold onto it too long and that can lead you into a dangerous situation. Thanks to Maxime and Val for sharing their experience. If you find this kind of analysis useful, join my academy 
and share your flight stories. I'll analyze them and help you find solutions and safety principles to follow in your flying. And there's a special giveaway on Christmas Day. All members are in the draw with a chance to win a brand new reserve valued at over 600 pounds. Otherwise, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep it safe, my friends.